the burn at the gym. Go. <laughs> or busting a move on the dance floor. You expect to sweat. But sweaty armpits are not a good look at the office or on a dinner date. When you go out in public, you're embarrassed. Not cute, not fresh. You try to do maybe like sleeveless where you're not gonna see the stains or like you avoid certain colors, like you stick with black, you don't do white. But she's not having it, not anymore. Danielle Schaefer is on her way to drier underarms. I call it a tattoo underneath the arm. Esthetician Tara Avalone is laying the map to mop up Danielle's excessively sweaty armpits. Now this just gives me a little pattern of where I need to place the setting. Mira Dry. It's the Mira Dry way, as seen on the company's official website. The FDA approved the system a few years ago. It uses electromagnetic energy to destroy underarm sweat glands. The system then sends focused electromagnetic energy non-invasively through the skin and tissue of the underarm. It's not as well known. Before dermatologist Robin Levin fires up the machine, there's a lot of numbing to do. A lot. The treatment is uncomfortable if it's not if you're not numb. May seem like a lot to go through, but prescription antiperspirants didn't work for her. Danielle says they left her red and raw. And Botox, the gold standard treatment for excessive sweating, it works really well. But Dr. Levin says it does wear off. It's just nice to not have to worry about not only coming back every three to six months, but usually they start sweating before they actually get back in. The South Jersey Skin Care and Laser Center is only one of a few offering that procedure in our region. The green is heating, the blue is cooling. It tells you what's going on. So the heating is when we're actually destroying the, the sweat glands. The cooling is, is the cooling process afterwards. It definitely affects a lot of people. Kids that are 13, 14, 15, all the way up to adult men as well. My patient base is more men than it is women, believe it or not. Two to three percent of Americans suffer from excessive sweating, which may not seem like a big deal to you, but try telling that to those millions of people sweating bullets uncontrollably, some for no known reason, others for more serious medical conditions. This is Danielle's second Mira Dry treatment. I've noticed a big change since the first one. So you can see almost where it was suctioning. Dr. Levin says she didn't jump on board right away because the system was too new and the end results too inconclusive for her. And it's expensive. It's typically it's two treatments and we base them about three months apart. Um, so we charge actually $3,000 for both treatments. There are side effects. Numbness in the fingertips, numbness in the arms. Uh, they can last anywhere from two to four weeks. I had slight bruising. I had more of like a redness, like a sunburn feeling where it's a little uncomfortable the next couple of days, but nothing unbearable because you know that there's going to be the good that comes out of it. Not every doctor thinks it's such a good idea to destroy so many sweat glands, possibly overheating the body or sweating even more elsewhere. The underarm only make consists of 2% of our sweat glands. So far, Danielle says it's worth the risks. All right, but we're done. Says she's much drier now and fresher. Absolutely, for the next couple days, I wasn't even wearing deodorant at all. Now, in case you're wondering, MiraDry is FDA approved only for excessively sweating armpits, not hands or feet. The company's answers to does it last and is it safe read in part, quote, the results are lasting because the sweat glands do not come back or regenerate and your body contains over 4 million sweat glands. Eliminating this 2% will not affect the body's ability to cool itself. If you do it, you need to budget a chunk of time for the treatments and Dr. Levin says in addition to the bruising, it takes a few days for that tattooed map to wear off. Joyce Evans, Fox 29 News.